visit arcademodup.com. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly change a game from full screen to the actual aspect ratio of the original game. Along with this, we'll turn on the video bezels to fill the additional space. So let's get started. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to talk how to change this. So right now, this comes default as full screen. So you can see how nice that looks, but some guys do not want this stretched, uh, especially on your vertical game. So I just wanted to walk through real quick how to change that on a game by game basis. Uh, but essentially, once you're in the game here, and you can see it's the game's working or whatever, I can hold down coin and press X, which is my top middle player button here. That will get me into the, into the settings menu. So there's a couple things I want to change. B goes back, A goes forward. So I'm going to press B and go to the options and go down to video. And essentially what I want to do is I'm going to change the scaling of this game. It's set to 16 by 9. That's why it's, it's stretched out. But essentially I'm going to come in and I'm going to go over to where that says core provided. And essentially what core provided means is whatever the game, the actual game resolution needs to be, that's what's going to show up here. So you can see I did that. I'm going to press B to go back. B again, and I'm going to go over the quick menu and press A. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the bezel, the electronic bezel to fill the, uh, fill the space of these black uh, bars here. So if I go to on screen overlay and press A, I can turn that on. You'll see it pop up, but there's a setting here, hide overlay and menu. So if I turn that on, you can see it's going to be over my menu. So I don't like that. So just whenever you're in the configuration settings, it's best to turn that off but the overlay is turned on uh, for the game itself. So from there, I just go back and then I'm going to go down to overrides. If I save core overrides at the top, it's going to do that for everything using this emulator, the final burn Neo. I don't necessarily want to do that. So I'm going to go down and just hit same game overrides and press a, and now anytime I boot this game, it will be set up uh, to core provided as opposed to full screen. So I can press B to go back and then just go up to the top to resume. Just so you guys can see this. And now the game's at the actual resolution that it's supposed to be at, even though it's a widescreen monitor uh, and it has the, uh, the bezels on there. So you can play it either way. It's, it comes full screen, but if you wanna change it to where um, it does this for you, especially on your vertical games, some of them will be a little bit wider than what this one is. This one's extra skinny, because remember this game was a two monitor game. Uh, so it's a little bit more skinny than a standard vertical game, which would fill up more. But either way, it's up to you guys, however you want to change it. It's a real quick fix uh, to change it per game and save that. So anytime I boot into this, this is now how this game would be. Um, make sure and like the video. Check out our new lineup of cabinets on our website. And thanks.